six, seven. All right. Whew. Getting a pump in my biceps already, guys. Hi guys, Mark McKillier with Live Anabolic. Today I put together a really killer workout for big arms. Everything we're gonna do today is with dumbbells and something called giant sets. Now, if you haven't heard of those before, it's a more advanced technique, but I'm gonna show you exactly how to do it and how implementing this advanced technique can really lead to some gains in the old arm muscle category. So. Before I get to the technique and the workout today, I just want to remind you guys to click the link below this video because it's going to take you to our Facebook group. It's a free resource. There's no reason not to join the group, guys. Uh, I think we have over 10,000 members around the world. I'm on there every single day answering every single question. Plus, everybody else is on there. Everybody else is posting questions. They're just like you. Tons of guys in their 50s, 60s, 70s. We got some guys in their 40s, some guys in their 80s. Everybody's posting questions. A lot of people are posting progress pictures of themselves and I'm answering their questions and, and they're answering each other's questions. Anyway, it's a really fun group to be in. I promise you will enjoy it. And there's no risk because there's no money involved, right? Okay, so for today's workout, giant sets. All right, these are gonna be kind of killer, all right? This is something that's gonna cause that lactic acid to really build up in your muscles, and that's where the pain is, all right? You've heard the old saying, no pain, no gain. Well, giant sets cause a lot of pain, but they also cause a lot of gain. So, everybody wants big arms. I want big arms, you want big arms, and this is just kind of a, an interesting way to, to work in every once in a while. You don't wanna do giant sets every single day week in and week out it's just it would kill you it would kill me but every once in a while throw it into your workout and see how it works for you i promise you're going to feel it the next day so a giant set simply put it's just four sets back to back with no rest in between all right now giant sets don't have to focus on the same muscle group all four sets it could be completely different muscles, but today's workout is for arms, and I've designed it so that each giant set is gonna focus on just one muscle group. So, we got a giant set designed specifically for our biceps, and another giant set designed specifically for our triceps. So, I'm gonna step you through the four different exercises in each giant set, show you the form, and then I'm gonna go through it with you real quick so you can see how painful it is with me being the guinea pig. Okay, so for today, the, the very first giant set we're gonna do is targeting our biceps. So the four exercises in the giant set are, let me get this, Zotman curls, hammer curls, drag curls, and close grip curls. And I'm gonna show you how to do all four of those. So. Technically, you know, that's four different sets, but because we're not resting, we combine them all together to, and we only call that one giant set. Now, also because we're not resting, instead of kind of doing my typical 10 to 12 reps per set, I'm gonna only shoot for seven reps because back to back, that's still gonna be 24 reps nonstop. So here we go, the four exercises in giant set number one, and this of course is bicep focus, or Zotman curls. I'm just gonna show you the form now. I'm not actually gonna do the entire um, giant set. So Zotman curls, you're gonna be holding your palms facing forward. You gotta get a really lightweight, guys, because we're gonna be doing lots of reps with no rest, okay? So pick a lightweight. Zotman curls, you bring, you curl the dumbbells up, and at the top of the movement, you rotate so that your palms are facing down, and then take the weights back down. Rotate up, rotate down. Simple as that. All right, hammer curls. All right, much easier, guys. Your palms are gonna be in a neutral position facing your side, and you're just gonna bring the dumbbell straight up and down, okay? Hammer curls, basically like you would hold a hammer. All right, drag curls is the third exercise in this giant set. So once again, we're gonna make our palms facing forward, 
bend your knees just slightly and bend over just a hair, okay? And I'm gonna pretend like I'm holding a bar and I'm dragging the bar straight up my torso, okay? So, boom, I'm dragging up. I'm not bringing the dumbbells up. I'm, I'm trying to focus on bringing my elbow, okay? So, the elbow comes up and it just drags the dumbbells along with them. Simple as that. And then finally, a close grip curl. We only use one dumbbell, okay? Right here, my hands are close together. And I'm just gonna be doing some real straightforward, okay, curls. Boom. So, those are the four exercises in giant set number one, which of course is bicep focus. Well, let's talk about giant set number two, tricep focus. First exercise, get down on the ground. We're gonna be doing skull crushers, all right? So this is something most of you guys have done before, okay? Once again, you can't use much weight, okay? So, really trying to keep my elbows nice and still and don't flare them out. And focus on bringing those dumbbells down to the side of your head, basically to your temple, okay? Those are the skull crushers. And then number two is gonna be something called the overhead tricep extension. All right, we gotta get up and sit on something here. I'm just gonna use one dumbbell, okay? Put it behind your back, and we're gonna push straight up, okay? Two, three, four. Overhead tricep extension, close grip. Tricep press means we gotta get back down the ground. <laughs> All right, almost like a bench press, but instead of having our arms out here, I'm gonna bring these dumbbells real nice and close together. I'm gonna bring them down to my sternum and push straight up. So just below chest level. This is really gonna start feeling it in your triceps. Your shoulders are gonna start burning. Then the very last thing we're gonna do requires no dumbbells. We're gonna get back up and we're gonna do bench dips, all right? So you can do this on a chair, you can do it on a coffee table, your couch, it doesn't matter. I'm just gonna put my hands behind me and I'm just gonna straight up and down, okay? And for you guys that have bad shoulders, if you don't have a lot of flexibility, you don't have to go real deep, okay, on these bench dips. You may only be going up and down three or four inches, that's fine, I promise. You're gonna be exhausted by the time you get to these, so you don't have to go super deep. All right, might as well watch me do it, all right? And once again, you cannot use much weight, guys. So here we go, we're gonna start off with giant set number one. This is for our biceps. So, Zotman curls, we're gonna do seven reps. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. All right, now straight to seven hammer curls and a rest. One, two, three, four, five six, seven, straight to drag curls. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. All right, close grip curls. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. All right. Whew. Getting a pump in my biceps already, guys. Just one giant set was all it took. Now, guys, I'm gonna catch my breath. Even though the next giant set is focusing on triceps, I still wanna give myself at least a minute and a half, probably closer to two minutes rest. Because what's going on right now is not, not only am I just catching my breath, but I'm giving my heart time to pump all that lactic acid out of my biceps, okay? 
and it takes it to your liver and your liver processes that and turns it back in to glucose, which is a source of energy and then the glucose goes to your muscles. So I don't recommend you going straight from the bicep giant set to the tricep because you'll just be so gassed, you won't have the energy left to knock out a really good form on your triceps. So it's, you know, kind of shake it out. All right, this is part of the rest period. You need to give your body time to recover. All right, we, we take breaks in between just normal sets of 10 to 12 reps, typically about a minute. All right, so the same goes true with a giant set or drop sets. Anytime you do a more advanced technique, you're putting a lot more stress on your muscular system, all right? and your central nervous system also, all right? So you really take longer rest periods after you're doing an advanced technique like a giant set or a tri set or it's any of these other more, you know, more difficult techniques because your body really just needs a break before you throw a bunch of more stress at it. So giant set number two is gonna be my triceps, all right? I'm gonna step you through it here, guys, nonstop. So I've already showed you how to do the form. Now I'm actually just gonna do the giant set. So we start off with skull crushers. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. All right, then I get up, overhead tricep extension. No rest. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. All right, back down on the ground. Close grip. Ah, tricep chest press. One, two, three. Five, six, seven. Man, I could already start to feel it burning. And I'm using really lightweight, guys. All right, I got pretty good shoulder mobility, so I'm gonna try to go one, two, three, four, five, six, ah. All right, okay, so I'm using pretty lightweight there, guys. I could have used a little bit more, but just trust me. <laughs> because we're throwing so many continuous reps without any rest, man, the pain really starts to kick in. But guys, remember, the pain and the lactic acid send signals to your brain. And it tells your brain, hey man, we're really damaging these muscle fibers. We need some help repairing those muscle fibers. So send us some more testosterone. And so these kind of really difficult workouts do wonders for ramping up your body's natural production of testosterone. So that's one of the reasons we do these kind of workouts. Now, guys, I just did one giant set for buys and one giant set for tries. You need to do at least one more cycle of this. All right, so you need to do at least two giant sets for biceps and two for triceps. I wouldn't do biceps back to back to back. I would do one giant set by, one giant set for tries, then go back and do a giant set for biceps and another giant set for triceps. You guys that are a little more advanced and want to push yourselves harder, I recommend you do three of those. All right, three of each of the giant sets. But once again, stagger them between biceps and triceps. It'll really help you because it'll give one muscle group time to rest while you're hitting the other muscle group. I, I use that method all the time in my personal workouts and I actually use it throughout all of the Fit After 50 routine, all four phases. Use that same kind of structured mentality as far as letting one muscle group rest while you hit another muscle group. All right, so guys, hopefully you loved the, uh, the routine today. I promise I only did one giant set for buys and tries, and that's it. You saw it, okay? And my arms are already pumped, all right? 
If I did another one or two more, I mean, I would just be, you know, brr, feeling fantastic. But this was just demonstration purposes only. Now, the other thing is, guys, don't forget to click the link below this video because that's going to take you to our Facebook group. You got to join. All right. You don't have to use a picture. You don't have to use a name. You can be anonymous, but just kind of absorb the information from the group because I promise you're going to get more out of your workouts if you're part of a group that helps to hold you accountable and to motivate you. And then finally, guys, remember, you got to stick with it and never give up on yourself.